planet is divided into two by a molten belt round the equator. Your friends are heading for the molten belt. Digby and I were looking over the glass domes and walkways of the huge mechanical city of Maconta. Buzzing sky scooters, roadways and electrocenter tubes crisscrossed the city. My orders are to take you to the director of the Earth Research Centre. Orders? Whose orders? You will go by flying chairs. These flying chairs are controlled by thought impulses. Hardly suitable for such puny brains as yours. I will direct all three. You will get on. Why, Colonel, I never thought I'd see the day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, hey, hey. Look at this, sir. <laughs> no arms, eh? <laughs> Hand me the helm. I'm in command here, Miss Peabody. Switch the gyro stabilizer. Start the reactor jets. You'll answer for this later, Miss Peabody. The Earthmen, oh director. Good. Spectro analysis first. The experiments are ready. Green auras, just string them along. See if we can make a peaceful arrangement to send food to Earth. We are official envoys. I demand to be taken to your chief officer, your president or prime minister. You mean the supreme scientist, the illustrious first one of Venus, the Mecum of Meconta. Right, the gaffer. You insects. You would not even be allowed in the same building as that magnificent brain. Master. A third rocket is about to land on the northern fringe of the Flamelands. We have no need of any more specimens. Fasten them to the slide and give the first injection. One is a woman, oh master. A woman? That will be interesting. We will watch them as they crash. We can't pull out! I can't pull her out, Sir Hubert! I can't control! I'm sorry I said some harsh things, Miss Peabody. You're a damn brave woman. Maybe we'll come through. If we don't, we gave it our best shot. Hold tight! Sir Hubert! Sir Hubert! Are you all right, Miss Peabody? Uh, We're dented. But still airtight, I think. Is your observation hatch still clear? Yes, we seem to be in a sort of... uh... Look, Sir Hubert, ten degrees starboard... What is that? It looks like like glass, molten glass. It seems to be moving. It is moving. I don't like the look of it. It's moving towards us. Why, sir, will you look at that? It's a moving mountain. It, it, it's coming closer to them. Don't let them see your concern, Digby. These green-faced so-and-sos will love that. Love, Colonel? Love? It is something we do not understand. Is it pity? That we are registering on your thought patterns or fear. What are you doing, Sir Hubert? Fasten your helmet, Miss Peabody. I'm going out to Recky. Wait here for me. I'm coming with you. You will not leave the ship. That's an order, Miss Peabody. Good luck, sir. Chin up, eh? That's it. Now then, I'll check the outer structure. Fins retracted and undamaged. Shield shows signs of overheat on entry. Check the jet, Sir Hubert. I have emergency state on each of my control panels. It's damned hot out here. Uh, right, jets. Both clogged. 
It's as if they've been sealed. It's full of hardened plastic, almost glass. Could we use the jets to get clear? Miss Peabody, if we use the jets, the whole ship would explode. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, oh no. No. Sir Hubert? Sir Hubert? We are registering something here. Anger. You could stop this. You could help them. Save them. Why? I do not understand. They are at great risk. They could die. We shall learn much if we let them die. They have no hope of surviving. If I could get out of this chair, I'd show you what we think of that where I come from. There's a lady there in danger. I'm sinking, Miss Peabody. I'm sinking into... Miss Peabody, help me. Help me. Hold on, sir. Catch this rope. It's tied off to the hatch frame. Pull yourself up, sir. Pull. Thank you, Miss Peabody. Well done. Now we have little choice. If we try to lift off, we will blow ourselves to bits. If we stay, we will either suffocate as we sink or roast from the heat. Oh, don't look now, sir, but that glass mountain is moving towards us. What? You're supposed to have the good ideas, sir. How can I? They have no understanding of pity. To them, it's just another experiment. How right you are, Colonel. We could use two for dissection if we had them all. Dissection? Hmm. Very well. Colonel, you are anxious to rescue them. Do it, and we will be able to advance our knowledge even more. Come along, Colonel. You have little time. We can't do it, sir. If we rescue the prof and Sir Hubert, we take them out of the frying pan into the fire, so to speak. We can't let them fry, Digby. You will go by telesender, Colonel. Don't get me wise, Cross. Standing on your head. Come out of there and sort yourself out, man. Technical hitches do occur from time to time. I, but why is it always to me? We were taken to a gallery of space vehicles and land transporters. The flight museum, Colonel. Are they all in flying condition? Intergalactic flying machines are kept in new condition by the airlock. Hey, up, sir. How about that? It's a beauty. A helicopter, sir. Perfect. It might do the trick, Dick. Jet propelled copter, obsolete for 1,000 years. We took it. They fitted fluorine sprays to neutralize the silicon mountain. Digby clambered aboard first, and we had our net surprise. Who the old lad are you when you're at home? I am Sonda, your pilot. Try no silly tricks. We are ready to go. Stand by. We headed due south out of the huge hangar, up out of a volcanic crater and fast towards the flame lines. A race against time. Professor, have you ever seen anything, heard of anything like this glass mountain? Never, Sir Hubert. Anything in its way just gets sucked under. Still, while there's life, there's hope. You're a very brave woman. Sir Hubert. Just watch how he handles the ship. I'll try and make friends. Ah, fat chance, sir. My Auntie Anastasia would have had a word for him, sir. Uppity, sir. Uppity. I can try. Um, we haven't been properly introduced yet. I am... Uh... I know who you are, Colonel. I told you my name is Sonda, and you will obey my orders. I see you are extending your hand to me. We have always thought shaking hands illogical. An old customer, a friendly gesture. Usually employed by businessmen and politicians when they are about to cheat one another. Sit down, Colonel Dare. Any luck, sir? He's about as friendly as a frisky stoat. We are approaching the silicon mass now. Sir, look, sir. Where that outsized mint umbug's leaking over the sand, sir. Poking out, sir. It's the ship. The silicon will cover them in the next 
few minutes. You have little time to get them. You seem concerned all of a sudden. Our experimenter wants to use them. My orders are to bring them back. Yours to obey me. We will see what our fluorine spray guns can do. We looped round the edge of the advancing mass and Sondar hit the firing button. The fluorine seemed to fill the charged atmosphere below with a fine mist and release the death grip of the silicon mass. Below us, waving up from the rocket, were... It's them! They're alive! We have done it, Digby! Damn good show! I happen it is. Just one thing, Colonel Dessay. They're on a sinking rocket, surrounded by some hot liquid stuff, and we're up here! Rope ladder. Part of the kit. I checked before we left. All we have to do is to pay it out for them. We winched down the ladder and Sonder held the copter steady as a rock as the Professor and Sir Hubert clambered on board. Oh, Dan, my all is wonderful. Where the dickens... You can open your helmets. Everything's laid on, including air. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Colonel. Just in time. Oh, golly, Dig, you've yes. no idea how glad I am to see your happy, smiling face. No, oh, it's not exactly... Freedom Hall, as you might say, miss. Oh, why? You might even say you're out of the fire and into the frying pan, in a manner of speaking. What are you talking about? Him, sir, at the controls. And his little friends back home, sir. Call themselves trees. What did you mean about the frying pan? Not the sort of tact, be His friends, sir, boffins, run wild, quite inhuman. They have no emotions at all. Then are we prisoners, sir? Just for the moment, at least the trees think so. So what do we do about it? Now you and Miss Peabody are here as reinforcements, I'm going to take executive action. Do nothing so foolish. Your intentions are quite clear to me. You are quite powerless. Quite, quite powerless. I don't think so, chum. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> oh, well done, sir. Here, down we go. Ladies on knees. Kitchen wear. Give Sir Hubert a hand and drag our tree friend out of the way. Right, sir. Well, uh, let's get out of here fast. How is he? Coming round, I think. I'd like a crack at him, sir. Sorry, Dick. You take over the controls while I keep an eye on him. Right, sir. And change course, old boy. We're probably flying on an automatic radar beam controlled by the trees in Makonta. Aye, aye, sir. Now, due south. The wind's getting up, sir. Heavy weather. Change bearing due west. Will do, sir. It's a twister, Dan. A huge tornado force on a starboard bow. Ahead, Dan. Another tornado. It's moving across. Up. It's heading us off. Uh, west, Dick. I uh, can't, can't, sir. Th there's uh, another twister there. Oh, we're being shepherded like sheep, but they're all round us. We can't take this old bucket uh, into any of those winds. They're running at hundreds of miles an hour. Clear to the north. Tree oh. handy work around the Dutchman. So, we turn north, we'll make a dash for it. Your tree friends away, Dan. Ask him what we should do. Sonda, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. You want to know which way to head? Yes. They want us back at headquarters for experiments. Us? You as well? I was afraid. I was afraid when the ship was in danger. I displayed emotion. I'm scientific. They will want to trace my fall. We're in the same boat. Oh! That does not matter. I will be proud to serve Trim Research. Well, I'll give the research program a miss, I think. Head to South Dick, into the tornado barrier. Here we go! Oh, 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 We're being sucked in, sir. I, I, I can't order us. I can't. Oh, oh, we're, we're going down. 